Hey everyone, this is Reviews at Ryan. So I wanted to talk about this movie, Slaughterhouse, that just came out. It was a one night event apparently, and I got a screener to check this film out. I'm just now getting around to reviewing this movie, and I wanted to talk about my thoughts about this new horror film. So stick around and let's talk about it. <laughs> this trailer went viral and actually I actually found this trailer on Facebook and another youtuber of mine I tagged him in it and he said he got a screener for it so I ended up getting a screener as well and I really was interested in this movie mainly because a sloth going around killing people that sounds absolutely ridiculous the plot of this movie it follows this girl named Emily she is in a sorority and she's trying to become president of this sorority and she's going head to head with this other girl named Brianna. The way that she wants to actually tackle being this president is she gets this bright idea to get a sloth and this sloth is going to be the main honcho mascot of the sorority and this is going to gain her popularity and votes. She brings home the sloth she ends up introducing it to all the girls in the sorority and she says this sloth is going to be our mascot and of course they do a vote and everybody in the group pretty much agrees for the most part that they can have the sloth there as you would expect the sloth ends up killing a bunch of different girls throughout the movie now i will say this positives about this movie I do like the effects in this movie. I liked that the sloth was a puppet. It was also interesting too because sloths, they move slower. This sloth moves very fast. The kills in here, they can be creative to a point. Obviously, the sloth has sharp nails, sharp teeth, and also it incorporates some social media things like a phone and a computer. And there is some social media callbacks to this film. So like every time they actually introduce a character into the film, they actually show their follower account and they show like their little social media logo and everything like that, which the film relies very heavily on this social media presence, which, you know, I kind of am used to the fact that nowadays in the modern times, that's going to be used a lot more. I personally don't prefer that, but they definitely use that heavily influence in here. Now, as far as kills in this, I would say most of the kills in here, they definitely are off screen a lot of the times. You'll see a little bit of blood here and there, but it's not a very gory film. So if you're looking for gore, this is not that kind of film. And the film also is very goofy. And I say that because, for instance, there is a part where they play this song. And if you ever watched a movie like 10 Things I Hate About You, and they have kind of like that romantic, punkish kind of music, they have that in one scene and all the girls are getting killed off. And it's very goofy because the girls, they'll be dead. And it looks like they have like a bunch of like marker on their face or something like that. And that's supposed to represent blood. So it's very goofy in that. And I think that's where the film, it takes me out because I wanted it to be a little bit more serious with the kills. The other problem with this film too is the acting itself. It's pretty bad. It's not asylum movie bad as far as acting, but it's still pretty bad. And also it's very goofy in the dialogue. I would say the dialogue is pretty stupid throughout this film. And I also didn't like any of the characters. They're all very preppy-like. It reminded me when I was back in high school and you have all those preppy popular girls that, you know, they just fight and there's just, you know, all the drama between them. I didn't care about any character here. They all could have just been killed off and I would have been fine with that. And I think the sloth here, I do like the way that she actually moves. Overall, for me, for this film, it's not that great of a film. I feel like pacing wise, it could have been a little bit better. My son, he actually sat down and he tried to watch this with me and he actually tapped out. He wasn't getting into it. And I can understand why the characters, they're very obnoxious at times. And it's just really all these girls with their drama. And of course, you know, the sloth is killing all these girls and all these girls are getting picked off and the characters act so stupid. Like nobody wants to go to somebody else and say like, hey, you know, this girl's missing or that girl's missing. 
they just act so oblivious to the fact that all these girls are missing. And I think that's another thing that really bugged me about the film is they just really dumb down the characters way too much. I think for this kind of film, you really have to be into spoof comedy kind of films. If you really aren't into horror, I think you can actually watch this because I don't really think it's that violent of a film. A little bit of blood here and there, but I don't think it's like crazy amounts of blood. Obviously it's a PG-13 film, so there's only so much they can do anyways. And I did also like the message towards the end of the film, especially involving the jungle and saving animals and that kind of thing. I do agree with that message, so I did like that messaging about the film. But other than that, I didn't really care for the film that much. As far as the score, I would give it a one and a half out of five. I think it's watchable, but it's just too goofy for my taste. It's not scary in the least, although I will say some practical effects are decent at times. I just don't think that this film is something that I would revisit and it's just a one-time watch. Let me know in the comments, what did you think about Slaughter House? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you just think it was kind of meh? Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on my next review.